Hello everyone, it's Lindy. It is Friday. We're a day late again this week. Um, my picture looks crooked in the background. It, I swear it is not. Um, it is weigh-in day or update day or whatever we want to call it. Um, this week has been extremely busy. We have been on vacation this week and it's not like we've actually done anything big or gone anywhere. It's just we've had day trips or different things planned. So it's been keeping us busy to say the least. Um, and uh, yeah, the time got the best of me yesterday. So today it is. Um, this week has not gone as I planned food wise. Um, we just had way too many outings that it hasn't worked, which um, I'm kind of kicking myself for it. Um, because I had this great plan in my head to plan and prep and make a big pot of chili which I'm planning on doing today um for the week so I had easy lunches to grab um but it just didn't happen unfortunately life happened um but uh yesterday I ended up going to a retirement party for a friend at work and I pre-planned my dinner um and tonight we're actually going to the movies so I am trying to um, keep my meals low point. Um, I am planning on, we normally go out for dinner before we go to the movies, but I am planning dinner before we go because I want to make sure we eat before we go so I'm not snacking on so much stuff and um, I want to I want to track so that I do know what kind of leeway I have room for my um, popcorn. So we will see. I will try and play around with my numbers today and see what I have. If not, I don't have anything. I am doing a restart and it's, I'm doing a restart because um, I need to, I don't know. I just feel like I feel better when I know I'm doing crappy, let's to say the least, um, to restart and not look at that number as a gain um, or just get discouraged by that number that I'm seeing on the scale because I call it my starting point, which I know is, it helps me, but at the same time, I, I, I can't keep doing this over and over again. Um, but it's something that I need right now because this week was awful. Um, I was up three pounds this week and um, I mean, I, I can accept it because I know that we have not eaten great at all um, this week, but I know that I need a restart so that I can get my butt in gear. Um, Ren and um, Jane are my buddies to be keep me accountable um i am messaging daily and my food choices and my tracking daily and i just i need to focus on one thing at a time um and i know that a lot of us are struggling right now and i know i don't want to keep saying during this pandemic because i don't want to use that as an excuse but to be honest it's since the start of this pandemic has really put me downhill last march it's just been downhill um it's either being cooped up or so busy that I just don't have the energy to cook um being part of groups where we're supporting locals and then we're eating out um it, it's just a change in schedule with my husband that we just can't get on par of the meals because if he's doing nights then he's not eating dinner with us so it's almost like I'm not feeling like I'm in a rush to get dinner ready and I don't know it's just a combination of so many different things and I know that it's not just me that is struggling with this there's so many people that are struggling right now or trying to do a restart right now or just trying to get back on track and it's just it's hard it is because um you have to try and fight to get that motivation back and that is not saying that we're giving up. We are not giving up. We are still here daily fighting for this. Um, and it's unfortunate that I've been saying this for so long and I'm trying so hard to get back to that, to get back to that phase where I was so excited about this and wanting to get going. And 
um, I just need to keep going and keep trying new things so that I can try and get back to my motivation back. So that is what I'm fighting with right now. And it's, um, it's kind of debilitating if we want to call it that it's, it, it's hard because it's hard to stay motivated. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yes, today's the day I'm going to do this. I'm going to track. I track my breakfast or I start getting delayed and have a later breakfast or, um, I am struggling to find something for lunch or like so many different things or I have a later lunch and then I'm I don't really want to cook dinner so like there's so many different things um the heat is getting to me and that's not making me want to get out there and walk so um I really need to just wake up and go for my walk before this humidity kicks in every morning because it is disgusting outside I can't I can't handle the heat right now and I don't know if it's more so because I've gained more weight, um, that the heat is just getting to me more so, but I can't even breathe out there. The heat is disgusting. It's gross. So um, I need to make a plan of just getting up in the mornings and going as early as possible so that I can get it out of the way, knock it out and say I've gotten at least my one walk in. Um, I'm not really focusing on the numbers right now. I'm trying to get away from focusing on numbers. Jean-Luc, I am taking your advice. Um, I can't go with these weight challenges and try and put a number on it. I can't because it does get discouraging. As much as I love the challenges, I always have. I always say yes to any challenge that's thrown my way. And I was thinking about that this morning. I actually have my mud girl on the 28th coming up next Saturday and I am not ready. I'm going to die from doing it this year. Um, but I'm just going to go at my own pace and get it done. And that's all that I know that I can do. And I'm going to be proud of myself for just finishing. And that's the only thing that I need to focus on is just finishing. I don't need to worry about getting it in the fastest or keeping up pace with anybody. I just, I need to do it at my own pace and I need to make sure that I am focusing on myself. But I always, I never shy away from challenges. And that is one thing that I am proud to say of myself is that because of my challenging nature, um, I'm always wanting to take on a challenge. And that's the one thing that I've always said to so many people. My husband always says every year, I keep trying to get him to do the CN Tower climb. And he always says, no, I can't do that. I can't do the stairs. Doing the stairs at work tires me out. But it's not the fact that you need to do it so fast. Just go at your own pace and just then you have something to start from and work up from. So that is um, what I'm focusing on now because the mud girl is not going to be fun next week. Um, but I know that I need to do it to prove it to myself that I can still do these and I just need to work from there and just keep going. So um, I'm hoping to get my walks in this week. My goal for this week I'm setting is for me to get my walks in three days a week. If I can get more in, I'm very, very happy about it. Um, if not, then the three days is just my goal for this week. So three days of walking, um, that is what my goal is. I need to get up and just get out there and do it before the humidity sets in each day. Um, and my water is starting to get back on track. Um, I was kind of dipping low. Um, so I'm trying to work on getting my water intake up as well and just tracking. No matter what I'm eating, I just want to track it. I don't care if I'm in the minus by 100 points. As long as I'm tracking, I am following suit. And then I can go from there and look back and see where I can make those changes. So that is what I'm working on this week. Um, I actually did, going back to not focusing on numbers, I am... I have changed... I don't know if a lot of people notice. There is a lot of people on Connect that put up starting weight this number goal weight this number current weight this number and i have been doing it and i love seeing those numbers but it's getting really discouraging of me seeing that my starting weight is actually lower than what i am right now um and it's just i don't know it's not helping me so i know that i needed to get rid of that so i decided to change my kind of blurb on my profile on connect just to my why which my why has always been to feel better about myself so and that is something that I know, and it's taken me a lot to 
kind of really focus on my why because I don't look at my why as anything that is as important as like um, a health scare and which I shouldn't look at it that way because me feeling good about myself is just as important as a health scare which off topic I actually had a dream last night about um, Austin dying of a heart attack and I woke up so scared because I was the one doing all these phone calls and trying to hide my sadness trying to call these people and it, I woke up and I was like we need to get our asses in gear we need to be healthy or otherwise my dream is coming true which I'm calling it a dream but it was more of a nightmare <laughs> um but yeah that's just what I'm focusing on this week I need to my walking three days a week tracking anything as long as I'm tracking that's what I'm tracking and I don't know I might I've been sharing my tracking um logs with Jane for the last couple days and I might start sharing it on the group my weight loss group um just to kind of give myself even more accountability because I need to make sure that I'm doing it not pictures my food choices might not be the best right now so I never I, I try not to share my food choices if I'm eating out or not having the best food choices or a high point meal because I don't want that to be a trigger for somebody else. So I might just share my trackers and I'm encouraging anybody else, anybody that's on my Facebook group, share your trackers daily if you'd like. If it can be something that can slowly start us just holding ourselves accountable with sharing our trackers, 100% share away. Um, I'm also asking for some good recipes. I need to change up my meals a bit here. Um, I always find it hard with trying meals with the kids. Um, although the kids are trying a lot of new meals. Actually, someone said to me the other day, I can't believe that you shared a picture of Paige eating sushi. I've never seen a six-year-old eat it. But I'm so proud of Paige because Paige is eating so many new things. She was actually trying things that I wouldn't even try. She was eating scallops at dinner the other night. And I would never try them. As much as people like to say that they are delicious, it's not something that I would eat. I shy away from most seafood. So, um... Yeah, share me your recipes. Let me know. If you're not on my Facebook group, share in the comments here below. Let me know how your week has gone. Any goals or challenges that you guys are working through. Um, I know a ton of us are struggling right now. Um, we are all in this together. We have not given up on the good fight. We are all here fighting this good fight together. And just do one thing at a time. One one small change a day. I am starting with making sure I'm tracking. No matter what that is, I am tracking it though. Um, tracking every stitch that goes in my mouth, anything that goes in my mouth, um, and just making sure my water is being up cup. And um, I'm going to focus on three walks this week. So that is my goal for this week. Let me know what your goal is this week. Um, if anybody has any successes, challenges, recipes, ideas, what are you doing? What is your small step that you are trying to focus on each day? Let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know on my Facebook group. As always, my handles are at the bottom. If you'd like to follow me on Connect, if you're a WW Canada member um, on Connect, I am Stitch and Lindy. Unfortunately, US we cannot connect with. I wish we could because I really love to follow a ton of you. Um, and on Facebook, if you'd like to join my Facebook group, there are some US members as well on my Facebook group, a lot of Canadians, and there are some UK members on my Facebook group as well. So Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey if you would like to follow. Um, and uh, as always, if you are new, new to my channel, please give me a like, please subscribe, and you can tap that bell button to be alerted of any new um, posts that do come out. Um, I do post weekly, usually Thursdays, lately it's been Friday, um, for my weekly weigh-ins, and I do want to get to my recipe videos again, maybe even my grocery hauls, so that is something I was thinking that might be something that might keep me more accountable, is trying to do more videos again, because... It was making me focus on different meals or focus on keeping my house clean. So that's another goal I'm working on. Um, anybody else struggling with keeping the upkeep of the house during this pandemic? Good Lord. Honestly, after a day, I just want to sit down on the couch. And then I struggle with that because I'm sitting here crocheting and I'm like, I could be doing so much around here or getting activity in or prepping a meal or whatnot. But Anyways, we've got to do these little things that are keeping us peace and sane and, 
here. So my crocheting has been something that has kept me sane. I am also contemplating on starting um, my crocheting YouTube channel. So that might be something in the works. I'm still kind of dabbling with it. I got to try and get the proper camera angles for that. So I'm too picky about it. But anyways, I hope you guys all had a great week. I hope you are having a great week. I am going to prep my chili for lunches for the next few days. And uh, I've got my meal plan down for the week and my grocery list is set. So I am ready for this weekend. I'm going to see Free Guy this week or tonight. Sorry, not this week. I'm going to see Free Guy tonight in the movies. Let me know if there's any good movies that you guys have seen. Um, we also saw... What did we see last week? I can't remember. Seen a few movies now. We've been very excited to get back to the movies, even though the theaters are not something we typically go to because we always watch TVs at home. We always stream them or movie at home because we always stream them. But we've just been excited that they're open again. So what have you guys been excited that is open again to be able to do? Let me know. Drop a comment below. Anyways, have a great week. I hope you guys all have a great week, are having a great week. As always, I will see you next week.